Hi, this is Anu. I'm so glad you decided to join me today for yet but another tutorial. And today I am wearing what I created, which is the beautiful Bernadette style cardigan. Uh, the Bernadette style cardigan was so much in fashion a few years ago and I tried to make one on my crochet channel. I'll put the link right there. And now I decided I wanted to make one trying to knit one. I think the original Bernadette cardigan is knitted. So here it is. It's super easy to create. It's really not hard to create it. You only really need the basic skills like stockinette, which is uh, knitting and purling basically and I will show you how to decrease and how to increase that is it and it's the yarn that does all the magic it's the beautiful Caron latte cake mm, so soft so beautiful it comes in an array of color some um, I found them they were on sale it was super cheap it was like I think I bought mine less than four dollars um, the problem with all those brand of yarns is that I fall in love with a yarn and then it's discontinued. It's so frustrating when you really, really like something and then all of a sudden you cannot find it anymore. Ah, I don't like it. But this one, you can still find it in, uh, I think, Michael's. And I will put down below all the link to where you can find it. I'm not sponsored. Those are not affiliated link. I just buy everything with my own money. I just want to share it with you. So here is the beautiful Bernadette sweater. And it is the perfect addition to your wardrobe, especially right now with everything that is happening in the world. We all need the extra coziness and the extra hug and cocooning and fluffiness. And this yarn is exactly that. And this cardigan is exactly that. It's like being wrapped in a cloud of yumminess. I love it. Love it. Love it. If you are not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? It's totally free. Click on the subscribe button. This one that I'm wearing now is probably a small medium, I would say, but of course more sizes will be on my blog. Here is my new uh, knitting blog. Here is the address. You can find the patterns that are on this channel for more that are, you know, the, my videos are more for visual learners, but some of you like to have the pattern in front to read, etc. So after a few days when I post my videos, you can always find my written pattern on this blog with extra sizes. Today, I just wanted to send an extra hug to the people that are in quarantine, that have the coronavirus or that are not allowed to uh, come out of their house. And to the people that are not feeling well, I hope you feel better really, really soon. And I know you will. But in the meantime, Let's knit together if you are interested in creating this beautiful Bernadette style cardigan. Oh, so soft. Then keep on watching and let's do it together. And in the meantime, happy knitting and I will see you next time. Stay healthy and stay well. Bye. For this tutorial, you will need three skins of the Yarnspiration Caron Latte Cake. Mine was in Pepper Ash. You will also need two pairs of circular needles, one 8mm and one 9mm. And they are both quite long, they have 36 inches. You will also need an 8mm knitting circular needle that is shorter. I have a 16 inches one. And then a 6.5mm shorter one, 16 inches as well. You will need a stitch marker, a tapestry needle and some scissors. Are you ready? Let's begin with the bottom border. All right, so we're going to use our yarn uh, by taking two strands at a time to get the thickness we want. And we are going to begin to cast on stitches. I'm taking my eight millimeter circular needle. It's a 36 inches circular needle and 10 millimeter is the thickness. And I am going to cast on 92 stitches in total. We are not going to be knitting in the round so you could use a regular knitting needle. I just love circular needles because it's easier on my arms and on my joints. But you do you. So keep on casting on and I will meet you once you have 92 stitches in total. for your first row and you're going to do the one by one rib stitch which is one knit stitch one purl stitch 
one knit stitch one purl stitch you're going to do that until you have 92 stitches ending your first row with a purl stitch for my bottom rib i had five rows in total and this is what my work looked like after five rows of rib stitch now my goal is to get eventually 120 stitches in total so i'm going to begin to increase i am also going to change to a slightly bigger size needle 10 millimeter knitting needle take your bigger uh, circular needle or knitting needle and this is your working needle the 10 millimeter now and you are going to slip the first stitch slide it from your main needle to your working needle and throughout your all sweater you will always slip the first stitch without working it may it be uh, knit side or purl side all right so that counts as your first knit stitch then you're going to make another one that's your second knit stitch and then we are going to increase so in that third stitch you're going to go into your front leg regularly yarn over and push back the stitch but you're not going to take the stitch off your main needle to the working needle you're going to go back in the same stitch but in the back leg and you're going to make a knit stitch in the back leg of that same stitch and that is it and just like so you turned one stitch into two you increased and then you're going to make two knit stitches again one and two And then in the next stitch, you're going to increase, making a knit stitch in the front part of the front leg of your stitch, but omitting the last part of your stitch, not sliding it from uh, the main needle to the working needle, then going to the back leg of your stitch and making a knit stitch in it, and this time sliding it off the main little needle to the working needle. And then two knits and increase, two knits and increase until you reach the end of your uh, sixth row. And at the end of your sixth row, you should have 120 stitches in total. So two knit stitches and then make two stitches in the third one. And I will meet you at the end of this row. And for your seventh row, you're going to do one row of purl stitch all along. But remember, at the beginning of your purl row, you're going to slip the first stitch purl wise without purling it really. But it will still count as your first purl stitch. And that will allow for the border to be a little prettier. And I will meet you at the end of this row. And then for row 8 to the end of row 40, you're going to just repeat one row of knit, one row of purl. So repeating basically rows 6 and 7 until you have 40 rows in total. Here you go and this is what your work will look like at about a row 40 and now for row 41 we're going to begin to create the opening for your neck and kind of a v slanted opening for your bernadette sweater so for your row 41 you're going to slip slide your first stitch as usual and then you're going to knit two together and that is decreasing so you're going you're going to take two stitches at a time at the front leg passing through two stitches so the two next stitches go with your working needle from the left to the right in the front leg of both of the stitches together and pass your knitting needle through both of the stitches through the front leg from the left to the right yarn over and just treat it as a regular knit stitch now up here we go and you just decrease just like that and then you're going to just knit regularly until you reach the three last stitches of your row and i will meet you there all 
So here we are at the end of your 41st stuff, 41st row, and you have three stitches left, and you're going to decrease again, doing exactly the same thing as I told you at the beginning of uh, this row. And then you're going to knit in the last stitch and just like that you decreased one stitch at the beginning one stitch at the end so at the end of this row you will have 118 stitches in total and then for the next four rows you're just going to make a row of pearl a row of knit a row of pearl and a row of knit and i will meet you at the beginning of your 46th row for a row of pearl with a decrease at the beginning and at the end again so at the end of your 46th row, you should have 160 stitches in total. And this is what you're going to do for the next few rows. So four rows of knit, pearl, knit, pearl, then decrease. Four rows of knit, pearl, knit, pearl, and decrease. And I will meet you at the end of your row 61, where you will have 110 stitches in total. And here you can see from the side how we are slightly decreasing to create that v-neck but now what we're going to do is create the front panel right there so you are at your 62nd row and what you're going to do is pearl 25 remember the first one that you slip counts as your first stitch so pearl 25 and once you have 25 stitches you are going to just turn we're beginning to work on our first front panel all right so you have 25 stitches now you are going to turn your work and for row 63 you're going to knit 25 and row 64 you're going to pearl 25 and then row 65 you're going to knit 25 and i will meet you for row 66 So for row 66, we're continue to decrease to continue to create that V neckline. So you're going to begin your 66 row by slipping your pearl stitch. And then you're going to decrease turning the two next stitches into one. And then you're going to pearl 22 and turn. At the end of this 66 row, you will have 24 stitches now. And then for the next four rows, you're going to have one row of knit, one row of pearl, one row of knit, of knit and one row of pearl. And I will meet you at row 71, where we'll be uh, decreasing in a knit row. So you begin your 71st row on your armhole side, which is not where you want to decrease. So you're going to knit 21 stitch stitches. That's your armhole here being created. So knit 21 stitches. And when you have three stitches left, you're going to decrease. And then you're going to knit the last knit stitch. At the end of the 71st row, you will have 23 stitches in total. And that is what you're going to do. You're going to um, work on four rows regularly and then decrease four rows regularly and decrease until the end of your 84th row. And then for your 85th row, we are going to cast off. Okay, so we are at the 85th row, which will be a row of casting off. Since it is a knitting row, we are going to cast off while knitting. And you're going to knit this first stitch this time and the second and casting off is just passing the first stitch over the second all along. So knit the second stitch, pass the first one over the second, knit the next stitch, pass the first one over the second. And that is casting off and you're going to do that until the last stitch. You had 21 stitches in total. You cast off all your stitches until the last. Here you are, you have two stitches left, knit in the last stitch. Pass your first one on top of the second and take your scissors and fasten off. 
and that is it you are done with the first front side panel of your Bernadette cardigan sweater all right so here you can see the armhole opening where it is straight that is at the right side of our panel and then here you can see on the other side where we decreased creating the v-neck so we're done with this now we're going to be working on the back the other panel will be repeating exactly the same thing but um you know uh, doing four rows etc and decreasing of course on the other side but right now we're going to tackle the back which is a this part so for the back we will be working on 60 stitches so if you remember we had left or uh, begin our front panel at the 42nd row at the 42nd row it was a row of pearl so now we're going to begin our back at the 42nd row as well we're going to join the yarn right there you have your panel on your right side and then we're working on your back and we're going to work on pearl 60 stitches after you joined 60 stitches and once you have 60 pearls you are going to turn you are at row 42 of your back and your back is super easy it's going to be back and forth rows of knit pearl knit pearl knit pearl knit pearl so stockinette until the end of your 83rd row and then for the 84th row you are going to cast off and by creating the back you're going to at the same time create your armhole opening on the side of your panel so you continue back and forth back and forth on stockinette working on your 60 stitches and then you cast off and you are done with your back and this is what your work will look like now we have to work on the other panel the side panel and you're going to just repeat what we have done for the right side panel but don't forget that you need to decrease only at the outside of your panel on the v-neck side and not on the armhole side that's the only thing you need to remember so you mirror the image of one panel to the other you're working on those 25 last stitches back and forth back and forth um, you do four rows and then a row of decrease four rows a row of decrease and then you go until the 80 the end of your 80 third row and then you cast off for your 84th row creating exactly the same thing we had done and this is what your work will look like all right so now take your work and place it in front of you fold it like so with the wrong side of your work facing you and you are going to sew in the shoulders assemble the shoulders together you can do it with your tapestry needle or you can do it with your crochet hook uh, today i'm going to show you how to do it with a tapestry needle for a change so you're taking your tapestry needle and you are going to match stitch to stitch from the upper part of your back and the upper part of your front panel take the side of the v-stitch that is uh, further away from you from the close side and the side of the stitch that is closer to you from the further side the most important thing is that you are matching stitch to stitch with your tapestry needle you have 21 stitches to sew in and you do that on one side and then you do it on the other side All right, so this is what your work will look like after you are uh, done sewing the shoulders in. You created the opening for your armholes on both of the sides. Turn your work back with the right side facing you. And now we're going to create the sleeves. 
For the sleeves, what we're going to do is use a smaller circular needle, 16 inches, still 10 millimeter, but you see the silicone thing that is uh, holding them is uh, really short. And since we're going to be crocheting in the round, I really need you to take the 10 millimeter circular needle this time. So we are going to create our sleeve and not have a seam. So you're going to take your work and we're going to join at the bottom of the opening of your armhole opening. And we're going to use our needle to pick up stitches around this opening. So you're going to uh, slide your knitting needle in the first stitch at the bottom and then you're going to take your yarn and up, push it like that to join. All right. So now you're going to go into the first stitch and you're going to use one hand, your left hand to hold your work and the right hand to yarn over and create that single crochet. With the left hand, you're taking the, you're holding your work and with the right hand, you are knitting in each and every stitch. And that is how you're going to pick up stitches all around your sleeve. And you're going to pick up 18 stitches going up your sleeve and 18 stitches going down. So in total, you will have 36 stitches for your sleeve. Okie dokie, once you have your, your 36 stitches picked up, take a stitch marker and put it right there at the beginning of your new row, round actually, because now you're going to be uh, knitting in the round, not rows anymore, but round. So at the end of your first round, place your stitch marker. And then what you're going to do now is making rounds and rounds and rounds of a knit stitch, which will in with a circular needle, create the stocky net stitch without having to do any pearl rounds. Isn't it magical? So rounds and rounds and rounds of knitting now. All right, so for my sleeve, for my arm length, I had 50 rounds of stockinette, but of course you try on your sweater and see some people have shorter arms, some people have longer arms. And now to end our sleeve, we are going to create that little border, which will be also the rib stitch. But for that, we're going to switch to a way smaller needle. So it's a small 16 inches circular needle, but it is six and a half millimeter. So we're switching from 10 millimeter to six and a half millimeter, we are going to decrease and at the same time use a really smaller needle. And that way we will have the exact shape that we want for our beautiful Bernadette cardigan sweater. All right, so you're going to place a stitch marker and then you're going to take your six and a half millimeter knitting needle and you're going to begin to do one knit and one purl. And then you're going to do two knit together, turning the two next stitches into one. Then you're going to do a purl. A purl and then you're going to do two knit together. Again, then you're going to purl one and again to knit together. So not only you're using a small needle, but you're also decreasing. So you do that all around, one purl to knit together, and then you switch your stitch marker again to the beginning of your round, scooch your stitches to the front so you can work on them. And then for the second row, you're going to do a purl and a knit one by one, 
knit stitch and you're going to do that around and around I did five rounds to match the rib at the bottom of my cardigan but you can do it as short or as long as you wish and once you have the amount of rows that you want now it's time to cast off and casting off is the same way we did before except you respect the stitches you do one knit one purl and then you pass the knit on top of the purl the next one is a knit pass the purl over the knit and then now purl and you pass the knit over the purl and so on and so forth until you are done with uh, casting off all your stitches then you're going to fasten off you're going to sew in all the loose tails at the back of your work and repeat exactly the same thing for the other sleeve and you are done my friends when you are done with your both of your sleeves you just created a beautiful bernadette style cardigan I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I'm looking forward to many, many more. I hope you will enjoy your Bernadette style cardigan as much as I am enjoying wearing it almost every day. <laughs> and I will see you soon for my next tutorial. In the meantime, happy knitting. Bye. I'm so glad you just... You really only need a... Um, or that, mm -mm. <laughs> um, for a new to well. <laughs>